Hey there, my name is Josh Diotti, Van Guru here at Van Do It, and today we are here to talk about the Do model. Now, one of the features that's going to take the most space in your van is, of course, going to be your bed. So, having a bed that you can move, adjust, or remove completely when needed is going to be what is needed to allow infinite possibilities. However, with that being said, anytime you adjust or move something here, it removes the possibility for something else over there. There is always give and take when we're talking about the space of a van. So specifically, we are going to be talking about the Van Do It recommended layouts for the Do model based on how many people you will be sleeping. These layouts are going to be what we recommend that maximize user experience while minimizing the give that needs to occur. So with that being said, let's get into it. To begin, let's talk about how your bed platforms operate. The bed platforms are mounted to the passenger side wall via the black welded brackets. Now these brackets come in different lengths and depending on your setup will depend on which length you need. Don't worry, we'll take care of that for you depending on which layout you pick. But ultimately these brackets will attach to the bed platforms via the silver pin. Now the cool thing about these is if you ever need to pull your bed platform out or something all you do is pull the pin and the platform will detach while leaving your mounting brackets there. That way you don't have to mess with the whole setup. Now to operate the fold leaf on these platforms, simply turn the silver clasp to release, pull out on it and fold out the leaf. To put the fold leaf back in place, simply repeat this process in reverse. Now once you have your bed platform folded down, make sure you have your eyelids in place. Simply make sure your ratchet straps are in the release mode. The ratchet straps will have a little orange button that will go into release. Pull that all the way down to get it in release mode. Then go ahead and hook up your strap and then tighten and ratchet to the desired angle. Now the cool thing about these bed platforms is if you're parked at an angle, you don't actually need to level the van, you simply level the bed platform. Now one last thing to point out with these bed platforms is that they are height adjustable. And I will tell you, it is probably easier to just buy an extra set of brackets if you are going to be moving your bed from different heights pretty frequently. Just get some brackets at each height that you'll be using and that way you can just pull the pin and pop it really easily between the heights. So now that we've talked about beds and how those operate, let's begin with layouts. Now it's important to note when we're talking about layouts, we are talking about seating, sleeping, and having luggage space for however many people we're discussing. That is perhaps one of the biggest oversights I see from our clients, so please make sure you keep that in mind. So let's begin by talking about layout for five people. Seating, sleeping, and luggage space for five. With all this in mind, Van Do It has one recommended layout for the long chassis do model, and I'm in it right now. And so what we have here is a high roof transit. Now it is important to note that this layout is tied exclusively to the high roof. This cannot be accomplished with a midroof. And so right here, you're going to see I am in a three-person bench. We have got your driver's seat, your passenger seat. So that makes up your seating for five. And in the back, we have got your double bunks stacked on top of a single mattress. Now your double bunks will be approximately 45 inches wide and 80 inches long, while your single mattress will be approximately 22 inches wide and 80 inches long. Now it is important to note with these dimensions that you are not stuck inside a box this big. So you've got room on the side of your beds to be moving your arms and above you as well. So to accomplish the luggage side of things for this many people, you can utilize our thermal curtains with pockets, our storage tower, hanging cabinets, or molly panels. So make sure you check those out. And like I said, Van Duet's only got one recommended layout for this. So let's talk about layouts for three to four. Seating, sleeping, and luggage space for three to four. Now the good news is here at Van Duet, we have got a couple layouts in mind for this many. And ultimately picking the correct layout for yourself will depend on your priorities, such as having a kitchen pot or not, versus ease of use. So let's get into them. So here's the first recommended layout we have for three to four people. Now it is important to note that this is exclusive to the high roof transit. And so what you'll see is we have got your single bunk down low, 
That is a full length mattress as well as full width single mattress. Then we've got your second single platform here in the middle with your double platform above. And as you see for seating, we've got your two person bench here in the third row for your passengers in the back. And we've got ample room up here for your kitchen pod and or living space. Now, maybe the first thing you notice is that this single bunk here is overlapping into your third row seating. It's important to note that since the due model platform is folding down from the wall, you cannot add a second fold like you see in the live. And so the front of this bed does not fold backwards like you see in that live, which means you cannot have a jump seat when you're using a lower bunk with a due model. This layout here is similar to the previously discussed layout for five people. Now the good news is doing this for three to four, you can do this either on a high roof or mid roof. And so right now I have a three person bench here that I'm sitting in. However, you could easily swap this guy for a two person bench. Ultimately that just depends if you want a little bit of space between your kids in the back or other passengers in the back. And in the back for the bedding right now we have got two double bunks set up. So that's all we have here for the three to four. Let's talk about the layouts for one to two. So the last recommended layout we have is for seating and sleeping one to two people. Now the beautiful thing about this layout is we do not have to worry about rear seating at this point. So really the layout is kind of a blank template back here. But ultimately it's going to depend on your priorities as far as having open space, kitchen pod, luggage, and different toys. So let's get into the first recommended layout. So the first layout we have is for your solo traveler. Now right now we have a single bunk set up low, so this would lend itself well for someone who's not going to be hauling bikes or other big toys. So really just packing luggage, wanting to travel and enjoy the sights, maybe you're working out of your van. But really, if you wanted to haul bikes with this, all you have to do is raise your bed up to that level. So the second layout we have here is the Buddy Traveler. <laughs> now I know it's a bad name, but really what this consists of is having two single bunks stacked on top of each other. So this lends itself well for those that are bringing a friend with them, or maybe you're a couple who's trying to escape your snoring partner. Either way, the benefits of this layout are you still can walk on the sides of your beds and access your storage tower, get your luggage underneath the bed. Right now we are on a high roof, so you've got about 18 to 20 inches from the floor to the bottom of your bottom bunk. So just know when you move this to a mid roof, that your bunks will obviously go lower and so you'll only have about eight to ten inches underneath the bed to clear that wheel well is essentially what we're mounting that bed above so just be aware of that you don't have a lot of room to get down there and pull suitcases and stuff out so other than that let's get into our third and final layout so the last recommended layout for seating and sleeping one to two people and the last layout we'll be discussing today is what i call the toy hauler so this essentially is having a full platform that is mounted above and that way you have room for luggage such as bikes dirt bikes or other toys down below so that's all i have for you here on the van do it recommended layouts for the long chassis do model these layouts, again, take into consideration having the best user experience, the highest customer satisfaction while having the least give on your end. And so one th caveat I will throw out to this is we are not taking into an account a queen size roof nest with these layouts. So keep that in mind. Lastly, if you were looking to seat and sleep five to eight people, go ahead and check out our extended length do model video and we will see you guys there.